If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, it's X-Rays, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Vanguard video. So today we're actually going to be checking out uh, another gold weapon, uh, another weapon that recently did get nerfed, but uh, it, because it was just so freaking good, and that was the double barrel shotgun. So we're going to go over a class setup to take advantage of it, even post nerf. And we'll talk about what it was like getting gold on this guy and what I thought of it initially versus what I think of it now. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak Aim Controller. I use them every single time that I play. Uh, my controller actually started wearing out because I use it so much. So control freaks guys are amazing for if you're like sticks if you want to protect them so they don't wear out and you don't have to get new sticks or maybe you're just playing with like a really bummy stick these guys are perfect for protecting your sticks from wear uh, so that's why i use them and then obviously my aim controller has paddles in the back lifetime warranty on any of the modded parts if it breaks they'll fix it so check them out code ogxers gets you 50 dollars off any order over 199 so links down below to that or through my amazon influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way and again guys there will be timestamps. so if you just want to see the class setup there will be a timestamp for you guys to go there and if you want to see gameplay you can with that said let's jump into the gameplay all right boys so obviously you want to be playing on a small map um this is actually kind of a tough situation because because i have auto sprint i've been having this issue whoa this thing is loud but i've been having this issue where i i can't shoot like sometimes i'll be running and it refuses to hip fire and it's because of my auto sprint that i have on so it's an issue uh I keep thinking about maybe getting rid of it, but then every time I'm like, eh, I like auto sprinting so I don't have to wear up my stick. So that's just, that's just my own personal preference. But I mean, like I said, guys, these things are still good. I think they do less damage now than they did before and they have less range, but overall, it's still, it's still pretty beast. And the gold camo actually looks, it looks pretty nice on here. Okay. It's like a guy over here. Whoa! Whoa! That's why the incendiary nades are the best part of that, or the bullets. Jesus. How did I totally botch that? Holy crap. <laughs> Dang, I thought I got enough on the slide to get past them. Uh, let's go over here. Oh, wow. These guys got some good shots going down the middle. What are you doing there? <laughs> Dang it, the reload was too slow. <laughs> One pump is enough. I don't know why I keep... I Like right there, I tried to shoot and didn't work. Usually what fixes that for me is, is gung-ho. So gung-ho is another proficiency I like using with shotguns. Uh, unfortunately, you can't use it when you're using a Kimbo, so it's a little bit of a trade-off. You got a little bit of a uh, slower fire. Oh! Slower firing weapon. Or a sprint to fire, I should say. A slower sprint to fire weapon. But, man, this thing is still so good. Okay, reload. Toss that right there, kind of be an inconvenience to these dudes. Oh, the spawns flip? I think they might have flipped. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Dang. The entrance too, a little, there's a little too much action going on on B right now, bro. I want to start pushing a little more, but I can't. It is too strong. Their will is too strong. Okay, let's just chill here for a bit. I don't even know what... Oh, it looks like spawns have kind of flipped a little bit. I better run. 
I better run. That's why I'm using lightweight, baby. <laughs> you get the heck out of there. Reload. Well, there's a guy back there still, I think. Oh, bro, how do you not see each other? You guys are literally right next to each other. Oh, I shouldn't have gone in there. Once I started getting hit, for some reason I needed that thermal. The thermite, I should say. Uh, shake it off, shake it off. You don't have a lot of ammo, so it's kind of like between do I wanna, do I want something that's quicker or do I want ammo and that's kind of why I also use normally scavenger. Gonna like right, th right there. And didn't and didn't want to didn't want to pull the trigger. Didn't want to pull the trigger. Like right there. I tried to pull the trigger. It didn't work. I don't know why that does that. Maybe it's just a sprint to fire speed and it refuses to do it. I don't know. But sometimes it does it. Other times it doesn't. It's annoying. I hope it's fixed. My dog's going off upstairs. He's pissed off about it too. He can't believe it. He's like, what the heck? Let my man's shoot. He's triggered. He's suffering for me. That's man's best friend right there, boys. <laughs> I dread sliding. I will say this thing is definitely not as OP as it was before. So I which I'm happy with. I think this thing was like, God, it was getting spammed like crazy. So I'm totally cool with them. Kind of nerfing it making it a little less usable the only thing is like th this akimbo build like it doesn't really work on every map it's got to be like a pretty small map to work or you just got to be able to you know know how to play maps like stay on smaller portions of the map so that's just that's just the way it goes i think the incendiary rounds are what it helps this thing come back from not being as good as it was before like right there before that would have been easy kill easy kill no chill here for a bit come on Yikes. <laughs> I guess spawns have flipped. You coming at me, bro? Ah, right there. Right there, my eyes got real big. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Get the heck out of there. <laughs> Woo. Uh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh man. God, you move quick with this thing. Jesus, this build is fast as hell. I really want to push, but. Man, not a lot more ammo, actually, surprisingly. Okay. Relax. <laughs> not fair, bro. Not fair. Oh, dude, are we actually going to win this game? Oh, sponsor, Jack. 
<laughs> don't don't do it don't kill me don't kill me I just want to be your friend just want to be your friend <laughs> oh my god so I don't think it's uh it's as good as it was before but it's still definitely a really fun weapon um so yeah there it is the akimbo double barrel shotgun i'm gonna go ahead and go now to the class setup so you guys can see what attachments i was using but uh, with that said let's jump into the class setup all right guys let's start off with the muzzle we've got the m97 full choke for a tighter pellet spread it just makes it so if you hip fire on someone it's not just everywhere you're gonna get less multi kills but you're gonna guarantee yourself more kills uh just in general so that's what i prefer for the barrel we're going with the lj18 defender it does extra damage hip fire damage and damage range at the cost of hip fire accuracy and regular accuracy which i'm totally cool with that's a really good trade-off for the scope we're going with the g16 2.5 it gives you added recoil control accuracy at the cost of ads speed which i mean we're not adsing because it's an akimbo build all right so for the stock we're going with the remove stock hip fire accuracy sprint to fire speed movement speed so this kind of helps you be able to kill quickly and hip fire quickly so it just is the perfect setup for a akimbo setup for the proficiency obviously we're using akimbo you guys already saw that if you don't like the akimbo you can actually try something else like gung-ho i actually really like gung-ho as well with all of the shotguns so if you don't care about akimbo gung-ho is a good one and we'll talk about attachments you can use if you're not using akimbo all right, so for the kit, uh, quick or fully loaded, whichever you prefer in this class setup, we're using quick because it's it just makes you insanely fast. For the rear grip, we're gonna go with pine tar, recoil control, hip fire accuracy. That's just, in my opinion, one of the better ones to use anyways. If you want something that's gonna ADS quicker, I really barely ever, even when I'm using one shotgun, ever ADS. So this is just what I prefer to use. For the magazine, we're gonna use nothing. We're just gonna leave that one empty because the drawbacks for both of these are just not that great. They reduce your bullet penetration and your damage range and also your pellet. So just, it's, it's a bad trade-off. Don't use anything for the magazine. For the ammo type, incendiary rounds, uh, because of the recent nerf that they did to the double barrel, you're gonna want this guy. It's gonna make up for the damage deficiency. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the damage range. It's dropped off. So if you are using a single shotgun build, I would get rid of this and use something like packed powder if that's something that you guys prefer to use uh, if you're using a single build with Gung Ho. Under barrel is blocked by using a Kimbo, but if I wasn't using a Kimbo, then I would use the SMLE pistol grip, sprint to fire speed, hip fire accuracy. Uh, it just makes this thing super fast to shoot ADS and stuff. So that's just the one I would use if I wasn't using a Kimbo, but because I am, this is unavailable. So anyways, guys, that is the class setup here for the double barrel shotgun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on so we don't miss a single upload. And if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak, Aim Controller. I use them every time I play code. OG experts gets you a discount link down below to that or through my amazon influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way go ahead and give me a follow over on twitter at OG experts if you guys want to talk interact see what i'm up to or if you just want to say hey or if you want to see my thoughts on stuff before i make videos or sometimes i'll talk about stuff and not make videos on them so literally the best place to talk interact with me you guys have an awesome day i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace